My intellect is without limit. Stacks back, school phase MTG. So I know everybody likes mutate, but what do you do when you can't figure out what colors you want to run in mutate? Just run all five colors. That's what I'm doing in this deck. Brewed up a super sweet five color mutate deck. Um, shout out to Hayway Kid and his brother Heath. That's where the original concept for this deck came from. Um, I seen Hayway hey Kid playing on his channel. He was playing the five color mutate deck, and uh, his brother Heath brought it to my attention. I checked it out, and I liked the, I liked the concept. So I decided to brew up a deck um, utilizing that same concept. So definitely check out Hayway Kid's channel for the uh, original deck, the original concept that he was playing on his channel. Uh, cool guys over there. Uh, so definitely check them out. But this is my five color uh, mutate deck. So. Let's get into the deck. I'm using Giganta as my companion in this deck because why not? I noticed when I was brewing up the deck that every card in the deck had only one pip in its mana symbol. Um, in its mana cost, I mean. So why not run Giganta? It's extra mana. It's a elemental. A lot of a lot of the creatures in this deck are elemental. So I got Risen Reefs in here. So Giganta triggers off triggers Risen Reef when you play it. So um, it's a lot of good synergies going on. You know, of course, the, the mana boost is always great. Um, so, yeah, I'm running Jagenth as the companion. Um, I got three Arboreal Grazer, four Paradise Druid, four Risen Reef, uh, one Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. You don't get anything back off of his Mutate because we are running all creatures in here, but he serves other valuable um, purposes in his deck because he is an elemental, so he triggers Reefs. Um, and it, it can mutate onto something and give it flying. So that's always, you know, evasion is always great. Um, there was a different version of this deck where I was running the uh, the other mutate creature. I forget the name of it, but it's the blue-green one. And when it mutates, it creates 3-3 beasts. Um, I took that one out um, and just stuck to Cub Warden because I, wor I was running two Cub Warden and two of the other guy. But I found that the 3-3 beast just wasn't as valuable as you would think it would be. But the one one cat creatures with lifelink is is awesome, um, mainly because of the lifelink and the fact that um, we're running Brokos in here. So you can always mutate Brokos onto a one one lifelinker uh, token, and now you got a six six trampler with lifelink, which can get you out of some binds sometimes, as you you'll be able to see from my gameplay. Um, and then I'm running three gem razor because you have to because there's a lot of enchantments running around that you need to get rid of. Uh, for Migratory Greyhorn to help us fetch up all of those, uh, the color fixing, the lands that we need to play. I mean, this is a five color deck, so we got to have maximum fixing in this deck. Um, two Parcel Beast. Um, I cut it down to two from three. Um, just in favor of uh, numbers in the deck, and I wanted to put an extra Snap Dex in the deck because Snap Dex is the only mythic of the mutators that I'm running two of because it's, it just, it's, that, it's that good. I mean, it puts in some serious work in the deck. Um, the ability to, when it mutates, deal four damage to a creature or a planeswalk and then gain you four life and then it's double uh, double strike. So if you give it flying, I mean, and lifelink, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So I, I felt like the value of uh, the snap decks in the deck is it, it, it was worth it being a two of in the deck. Um, so yeah, I cut one of the parcel beasts and put one uh, extra snap decks in, in the deck. Uh, of course, we're running four Starrix because Starrix is an all-star in any Mutate deck that it, that's running Mutate. Um, one Aluna Apex of Wishes, uh, one Netheroy Apex of Death, and one Brokos Apex of Forever. Um, that rounds off our Mutators. I'm not running any sideboard. I've been strictly playing this in casual. This is a strong deck, but I wouldn't recommend it for trying to rank up with because um, number one is really, really complicated. You got to watch your mana. Um, and number two, mutate is, it's going through a struggle right now because there's a lot of agent, there's a lot of control going on. There's a lot of board wiping going on. So I don't recommend this for trying to rank up, but it is a strong deck. And maybe in the future, it may be an idea that you can revisit to try to rank up with, but I just don't recommend it right now. So I just want to put that out there. Um, as far as the land base, I'm running two plains, two island, two swamp, one mountain, Two Forest, two Overgrown Tomb, one Temple of Malady, uh, two Stomping Ground, two Temple of one Temple of Abandon, two Temple Garden, one Temple of Plenty, two Breeding Pool, one Temple of Mystery, uh, one Ketria Triome, one 
Indaltha Triome and one Zagoth Triome and three Fable Passage. Um, that does it for the mana base. Um, pretty standard on this mana base. If you're going to try to run a five color deck, especially this one, um, with the large color assortment of spells that it has in it, I think this mana base is pretty much dialed in to run a, a, a deck of this type. So um, you got plenty of fixing. You got the Paradise Druids. You got the Great Horns to fetch up the basics. So the mana base is pretty solid. I don't recommend trying to change anything up with it if you're going to play it. And then, of course, you got Gigantha to round off the, the extra fixing if you should happen to need it. So this deck doesn't have any problems with mana. Um, surprisingly, that's usually the hardest thing to deal with when dealing with a five-color deck. But no problems on mana running this deck. Tons of fun. Deck list is in the description. Um, like I said, good for casual. If you want to try it out in rank and you find success with it, um, definitely let me know. Shout shout that out into the comments and uh, let everybody know. But um, I just don't recommend it for rank right now. Maybe in the future, but not right now. But let's get into the gameplay. This is a very, very nice hand. Don't get them this good that, that often. Gonna have to uh, oh, weaponize monsters. I don't, I don't see that card too often. Yeah, put that on the bottom. All I want is lands right now. Kid Taicho. Kid. All right. Uh, let's up the blue here. Gonna be weaponizing some. Some monsters over there, kid. It's the city's the city's monsters. Weaponized. All I got is mutations. Oh. The city is so Chandra. constraining. I need to be free. Chandra. Let's get the uncommon Chandra. All right, let me go ahead and play my Reef. Chandra will probably kill my Reef. That's fine. Uh, what do I not have here? Uh, I can't produce red yet, so let me let me fetch up a mountain. And uh, go ahead, Chandra. Gonna kill my Reef, kid. You're gonna weaponize Chandra? Make it kill my reef? Oh. Oh. Scampering Scorcher. Oh, you're gonna give him all the pump, probably. Oh. Um. Uh, well, I guess that was a logical play. He's expecting me to maybe block and sacrifice my reef anyway. No, you're not gonna attack? Oh, you are? Alright. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to eat nine here, cause uh, I don't wanna give up either one of my my guys here. I need those for... Oh, Caesar. Yeah, I, I need my guys for mutating purposes. So, I think the play here is... Um, maybe I just wanna mutate Caesar onto the Grazer. Deal for the Chandra, and then attacking the Chandra. Sounds like a plan. Uh, over. More damage to you, Chandra. I'm getting all and uh, go ahead and swing in. I can. I don't mind blocking with the Reef. Uh, this turn, if he uh, he's more than likely gonna swing all in again. So. Fine. The kid. Come on, man. Weaponize your your things. You want to see them weaponized? All right. Uh, we're gonna block the scampering scorcher. Well, you know what? That I, I he probably they have that enchantment that I mean that that one elemental when it attacks, you can return an elemental from his graveyard with power. Equal or less to, I think. It is. I probably shouldn't have blocked that one, but I don't know. I'll see if he see if he makes me pay for it. No. 
fire urchin is, is not scary. Alright, um, go ahead and take Cup Ward and on to King Caesar. Oh, I'm weaponizing my my uh, King Caesar here, kid. Alright, let's do a 4 damage to your uh, fire urchin here. Oh, oh, you gonna sack it? You gonna weaponize it? You gonna weaponize it for 2 damage? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> He's like, man, no. What is this? Alright. Two to my dome. But uh, I'm gaining six, so. <laughs> Alright, there's no uh unless he puts down someone with haste, there's no attacks as profitable. What what are you what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna block both of these, and uh, I take I take zero because I'm gonna gain two. You're not uh, your weapons aren't very effective. <laughs> All right, for spitter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and you take Godzilla to my Caesar. Go over. I can have a 6-6 six, six double strike life linker. <laughs> I'm gonna sack it. You gonna weaponize it? Go ahead and weaponize it. Machine gun. <laughs> Alright. No, take 12. My creature is very weaponized now. Alright. What you got? Can't save you. Can't save you. I'm ready. Heimdall. Um, yeah, this is good. Uh, let's put back, uh... Put back the basic. No, I don't want the basic. Going against Heimdall here. The all seen. Nothing escapes his eyes. Maybe he can he can see the outcome of this matchup. He's gonna win Heimdall. Alright. Take your poke. Poke for one. Alright. Let's go ahead and mutate this. Over. Get a island here for my my reef. Gotta raise you three. Take your one and raise you three. Oh, ram through. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Well, that sucks. My great horn is gone. Hopefully Reef can put in work here. Might just uh Well, let me see here. I'm gonna play Yeah, I'll take your one. I'm gonna play Giganta. I'm gonna trigger Reef. Alright. Well I don't have mana problems now. Alright, Heimdall. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and mutate the Cub Warden onto the Reef. Get me some some chumpers here. I got a feeling his Nylea is going to be online this turn. And, uh, go ahead and take this on to another one of the tokens here beef it up with some added defense all right oh 
Mythic has like a Death Touch sub theme going on here. Alright. Uh, well. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to mutate onto my token because I would have rather just been able to chump block with my token, but um, I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take ten and I'll go to two. That's that's dangerously low, but um, man, all right, Hamdel, you you uh, give it to me. All right. Um, go ahead and mutate this on my token and kill his, his, uh, brass over there. Gave me some life back. I don't want his death touches growing. Get your death touches out of here. I love, uh, Bio Quartz. Space Godzilla mutating from the grave on the tokens. I won't forgive this. So good. Go ahead and get some more of those tokens. That way I can keep uh, bringing my Space Godzilla back onto the tokens and not have to really care about his death touch. Oh. Start. Alright. Well. Starks has to die, so. Let me go ahead and double block him. Sorry, Jagintha. I'm gonna mutate onto the, the token there and gain me some life back. Hopefully he blocks it with his, his last death toucher and that take care of the it take care of the, the uh, death touching scenario here. Yeah. Alright. One less pip for Nylea. I'm good with that trade off. I'm back up to ten. You got oh oh man oh Nissa that's problems man all right it's mono green over here putting in work all right he's gonna swing at me with ten here so gonna have to give up the parcel beast. And uh, might as well block and use his ability here. All right, get into play. And I'm down to five. Man, Heimdall, be all seeing. Um, well, let's go ahead and play the reef. See what I see what, what I get here. All right, didn't didn't need you, but all right, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, all right, so all I gotta do is just survive for the next turn, and I can use Violante to get a lot of stuff back. Uh, under. Get the gang of tokens here. Put this down for a blocker. Alright. And no attack. So I should be good on defense here for this turn. And not die. And I'll get everything back with uh, Space Godzilla. Heimdall. Did you see that? Did you see that coming? Do you see that in the future? Do you see me using Biolante and getting all my stuff back? Do your eyes see that? They should. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's the it's the reject beast that I cut from my deck. He, oh, and he mute. <laughs> ah, oops. <laughs> he put it over. He put it over the Nidalia. Oh man. Yeah, I know he's mad about that. And what I do? <laughs> Well, I'll block it with my my, my cupboard. <laughs> yeah. Gain three life in the process. 
Won't kill it, but ain't a lie. All right, that was a big oops, man. All right, let's go ahead and mutate Biolante onto the Cub Warden here. Definitely over. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good game, man. I'm sorry you made a mistake there. <laughs> all right, get all these guys. Game changer. <laughs> All right, got Grazer, got Caesar, got Greyhorn. So yeah, some good early game ramp here. All right, kill birds now. Why would you want to kill birds, man? Birds are nice. Go ahead and. Get the great horn mutated. Uh, fetch up a red here for Caesar. Smack. Better, better put your roller skates on, buddy. Got some speedy action going on in this game. All right, fetch up some more lands. Getting all the basics out of the deck. No blocking? No? I didn't think you would. You gonna try to leave me? Alright. Uh, go ahead and mutate Caesar onto the Great Horn and kill the bird. Kill your blade. Kill it. Kill it. Do it. He's saying good game. Is that, is, that a, is that a cheeky good game? Is that a, I'm about to cleave you good game? Let's find out. Oh. It's just a gruel spellbreaker good game. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go ahead and kill the pelt collector. He has to die. Drain the life from you. Drain you. From the dark side. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some would consider unnatural. Yeah, you're uh, pretty much over for you here, Gru man. Alright, gearing up for a cleave here. Let's go ahead and cycle this. Don't need that. Oh! Okay. Let's go ahead and mutate. This will even put me out of. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Begin some, some good starting hands today. Sometimes you have to mulligan down to four or five. Makes games difficult. See what this guy's playing. Oh, Island Go. The most broken play of all the magic. Island Go. Oh, scared me. Thought it was gonna be a, a counter of some kind. Mill. Is this a mill deck? Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and mutate onto my, my druid. Uh, just get this for the cup warden. Are you playing mill, Alvy? Please say it ain't so. What you got? 
Uh oh. That must mean counter magic. Alright. Uh let me bait it out with this reef. I'm sure that'll that'll draw the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we plan to get some some mill counter spells and all the stuff that people love to hate. Gonna hold up mana again. Uh oh. He's milling me out. He's got three mana up. Uh okay, let me let me bait it out with trying to mutate this and then I'll still have mana left over to cast the cover warden, but I'll just have to tap my great horn. Alright. Yeah. Fine. Fine, Alvy. But uh can't counter this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most he can do is bounce it back to my hand, which don't really care. <laughs> All right, stacking up these walls here, and Alvy's Alvy's on it. He wants to mill me out. All right. Uh. Don't don't need you. Um, go ahead and mutate the stars onto one of my tokens. I don't want to. I don't want to be getting too many permanents like off top of my library because I need to go wide with damage against Mill. Try to kill him before he mills me out. The more cards I get, I take off top with mutate, and that's the that makes it easier for him to mill me out. You got LV. Go mill me some more. Oh man. It's on it. Oh, don't copy your wall. Mill me some more. Oh. He's copying his draw card guy. Alright, he's got he's got all the walls over there. Alright, let's go ahead and uh you take this on the Starx. See if I can get at least a couple more creatures into play here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, I'm gonna hold on to Giganta and I'll just uh just gonna swing in and see how he how he blocks here. Just block with your wall. Alright. Thought maybe he might have wanted to double block the cup board and at least try to get it off the board. Alright, got 15 left. Alright, go ahead and get the Genta out now. And uh swing, swing, oh no, wait a minute. Swing here, swing here. Uh, swing the tokens. Well, you know what? I'll swing with everybody. Might as well swing with everybody. At this point, it's all about just getting damage. Getting as much damage in as possible before you can mill me out. No need to play conservatively. Just go for the jugular. Alright man, chopping down your defenses. Oh, you got a counter spell? No counter this? No? Alright. Uh I'm just gonna play the parcel beast. Won't mutate it. Uh it'll draw me a card off of it'll draw me a card or give me a land off of a reef here, so um that's that's fine. I just need to go wide. That's all I'm concerned with right now. It's going wide. Going wide without without taking as many cards as possible off the top of my library.
Alright. I think I get this situation managed now. It was a good it was a good run at the mill, Alvy. <laughs> Going against the devastator here. Um I'm gonna Let me see. I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna have any mana problems, so should be able to hopefully draw all gas here against the devastator. Might he might devastate me. Let's find out. Playing uh oh blue black thought eraser zombie. It's gonna it's gonna amass the dread horde. Uh, go ahead and uh fetch up land here. Um, uh, I get a island. Got two paradise druids, so. Um, I think my play is gonna be just to mutate the cub warden onto one of my paradise druids. You gonna swing in? Swing in with your amassed army? Devastate me? Alright. Taking it. Taking your devastation. Go ahead and mutate. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me manually add this mana here so I don't accidentally mutate onto the tap paradise. Alright. Alright. Alright, Devastator. I'm waiting to be devastated here. Got that? Oh, just the flying uh, a master. All right. Uh, gotta play this. Play two life. You take my Starks onto my uh, Cup Warden here. See what the Starks brings me. I'm trying to. Create some devastation of my own over here. He's got a he's got a flyer though, so can't do nothing about that right now. Gonna you gonna mass mass your army? Can't do anything to my Starks. I know you want to. Nothing else is worth bothering. All right. Uh, okay, that gives zombie tokens flying. Alright. Alright, we're on the clock now. We gotta do something about this flyer here. Um, I think I just want to play Gigantic. Alright. And then, let me see. Add mana. And I'm gonna... Oh, wait. That's wrong. Alright, let me get blue... Green and uh, no, not not you. Mutate this onto my starts. Get some more permanents. All right, let's spin those lotto reels. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's my answer to flying. All right, uh, wait, no, he can block that with the one four. There's really no profitable attacks here other than sending the tokens to gain life, which I'm not really. Fond of doing right now, so all right. I'm waiting to be devastated here. I haven't seen much devastation from the devastator. Oh, well, I, I really don't mind that. Now I can now I can mutate it onto. Uh, let me see. I get mutated on the Caesar and uh, have me a 6-6 six, six flying double striker that deals 4 damage and yeah, gains me life and yeah I think that's the that's the play here uh, blue one thing you gotta be mindful about playing this deck is that you gotta do a lot of manual adding of your mana because the game isn't very smart at adding the mana for you when playing a 5 color deck so it doesn't it doesn't know what you wanna do so 
being that it doesn't know your intentions, you, you better be conscious of your mana that you're adding. But, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, back to business here. Let's go ahead and mutate this on the Caesar. And, uh, let's kill your guy that's giving you zombie tokens flying. Is that him? Oh no, it's the 3-3. Three, three. Another Club Warden. Man, I'm devastating you. I'm devastating you, de Devastator. I know. It's nice. Nice devastation. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what am I doing here? Let me go ahead and swing with the 6-6 the six, six Double Striker now. Devastation. Oh! Oh, the beats. Come on, man. Devastate me. What you got? That's, that's not devastating at all. <laughs> Alright, you got a 10 10 zombie token. It's not very devastating. Oh, man. Need to change my name to Devastation for this. Yeah, good game, man. <laughs> change my name to Devastation for this matchup because this was devastating on my part. Um, uh, play the reef just for funsies. All right, uh, go ahead and play my my migrator just for funsies. I'll kill your uh, hex group guy. Another reef. Alright. Start. Alright. I'm not even gonna swing all out. I'm just gonna swing with my 6-6 six, six flyer. He this guy was a good sport. I'm not trying to go all crazy. Good game. There you have it. Five color mutate. Extra fun, something definitely worth playing if you want to have fun. Something different um, can get real exciting. It creates some extra exciting plays from time to time. So, yeah, definitely worth running, definitely worth checking out. Um, definitely worth trying to customize and add in and take out some different type of pieces. I mean, you're running five colors, so uh, why not? Might as well have fun with it. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate everybody for checking out the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, stay tuned for more giveaways coming soon. Stay tuned for more content coming up pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, appreciate all of you guys and see you next time.